Lady Hussey moved Fulani's hair out of the way, touched her locks and moved it out of the way to reveal her name tag, which had this name. And that's why she decided to ask her like, okay, so where are you from? Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel, Elania Barbets. Look, I can't even bother with the intro. I am so heated. I am so angry and furious right now. It's always your people. So having said that, I'm just going to put this on so that I can let you know that I am going to speak about this and go in on this. Ngozi Fulani, okay? Who is saying that somebody said something racist to her, but she's so dumb and she's so stupid that she can't even write a proper script or dialogue that by the way is not verified by anybody as to what was said to her it's giving me very much blm founder patrice coolers it's giving me a scam everybody has a number everyone has a price as you know there is so much going on the wales is coming to the united states for the first time in eight years to boston there is Meghan markle trying to say that she launches this book now where she's going to talk about uh, structural racism and so on and so forth and suddenly the queen consort camilla has a reception and this crazy looking woman. Today I'm off to Buckingham Palace representing Sister Space. I received an invitation via Safe Lives. Their patron is the Queen Consort. So I'll be representing today. It's all about domestic abuse, it's all about the 16 days and back to this. Okay, wearing the craziest of everything she could find in her closet not limited to <laughs> a tiara of some sorts is gonna come on here now and say pay attention to me all eyes on me i think the best advice i can give well let me let me see let me see what she did first before i give my advice huh so ngozi fulani comes up in this place she is the director of the east london charity sister space which is a domestic violence charity for women that's how generous <laughs> the royal family has been in getting all these little niche groups because even though this is a domestic violence charity it cannot convince its victims to report the incidents to the police because they are quote unquote afraid that their men will become uh hurt or murdered during the course of justice so were you hurt or were you not hurt your abuser you care more about than yourself like this charity should just be striked from everything fire all the black people um vet everybody much more carefully because when it comes to megan markle she is going to be paying people she's going to be enticing people she's going to be doing all kinds of things that she has to do at this point because now she's lost her spotify deal her netflix it nobody can find it when it's actually coming out if there is that such a deal or if she or if they have reduced her she don't have the money so she's now going to have to do a book where she's going to do lies again. Let me just read the dialogue that is so stupid, right? I'm just going to go in with that. Lady Susan Hussey, who is the godmother of Prince William. She is an aide to the Queen Consort Camilla. And they keep repeating this because they want to tie in. Like suddenly William is responsible. Suddenly Camilla is responsible for Lady Hussey's simple questions which are not racist by the way this is the same thing like oh what color is your child gonna be and by the way i know i'm rambling because i'm really angry but just bear with me please if you don't mind you know me you know me is that when supposedly allegedly megan was asked or sorry harry was asked <laughs> what child what <laughs> i'm so i'm so angry <laughs> what color do you think the child will come out to be between the two of you okay and your genetics, which is all across the world after two weeks of people saying racism, this is so nuts. All of a sudden people settled down and studied their heads and said, wait a minute, in my country, in the Philippines, in my country, in Africa, in my country, in America, in my country, everywhere, this is a normal question that people ask when you have a combination, even in the Asian countries like Korea, where they have mixed race. People always ask what color or what kind of eye color or what kind of hair color and all of that. And that is a normal question and that is actually not a racist question. And once people settle down and then they realize, oh, well, she also, she also did not say the name of who even said it. This is the same thing that's going to happen with Fulani. People are going to be all crazy over this innocent question, where are you from? If it was even asked, because we don't even know. 
Lady Susan Hussey, who has worked for donkey's years, as we say in the Caribbean, for the royal family, been a lady in waiting, been an aide, you know, been the godmother of the heir himself, Prince William, has had to resign over this madness, over this woman. Look at her. Look at this mad woman. Please, she has bongo dreads. And bongo dreads is something we call in the Caribbean where the dreads are like fused together because they're not well maintained. This woman put on a, a cory shell necklace and she couldn't even put on a, a pants suit. You know what I mean? To go inside the people's palace. <laughs> I'm so over it. It's always our people. She went there spoiling for a fight. She has so much angst and, and, and problems, also attention seeking. And there might have also been a small paycheck from Meghan Markle, in my opinion. That's my opinion. And because why else would she do this? Well, let's go through. The, sorry, let's go through this dialogue. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going completely off track. Lady Susan Hussey says, where are you from? Mm, Galsy, whatever her name is, says, sister space. Susan Hussey says, no, where do you come from? Ngozi says, we're based in Hackney. Now, this is a lie. I feel like this is a lie. Lady Hussey did not say or ask, where is your charity based? For her to answer, we're based in Hackney. Lady Hussey asked her personally, where do you come from? Well, anyway, let's continue. Lady Hussey, no, what part of Africa are you from? Fulani says, I don't know. They didn't leave any records. I mean, are we talking about the slave ship? <laughs> this is a woman in her 50s, I would say. Okay. They didn't leave any records. Like, this is not 1804, honey. Like, what? did you just get here off the slave ship in shackles? Like, I don't really understand. Lady Hussey says, well, you must know where you're from. I spent time in France. Where are you from? Of course, we don't even know if any of this was ever said. But anyway, let's pretend for the purposes of uh, um, performance. Let's see. Well, you must know where you're from, says Lady Hussey. I spent time in France. Where are you from? Fulani says, here, UK, Hussey. No, but what nationality are you? Fulani, I am born here and I'm British, Hussey. No, but where do you really come from? Where do your people come from? Well, this woman come here looking like she come from a tribe. She has on tribal attire. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, where is your tribe from? You know, anyhow. Fulani claims that the conversation then went from, no, but where do you really come from? Where do your people come from to Fulani? My people, lady. What is this? Hussy. Oh, I can see I'm going to have a challenge getting you to say where you're from. When did you first come here? And then this is Fulani. Lady, I am a British national. My parents came here in the 50s when dot dot dot. So I thought you didn't have any records like you just came off a slave ship. But now your parents came in the 50s and so therefore you have parents and therefore there must be some records, right? Hussy. Oh, I knew we'd get there in the end. You're Caribbean. Fulani says, no lady, I am of African heritage Caribbean descent and British nationality. So, this brain broken woman is saying, No, lady, I am of African heritage, Caribbean descent, and British nationality. Hussey asked her, Oh, I knew we'd get there in the end. You're Caribbean. So, if you're of Caribbean descent, babe, then she's right. No, hussy. Oh, so you're from dot dot dot. And this, 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 like I said, this transcript is n is not verified. There's no, there's no footage of it. There's no audio on it. There's nothing. And yet, this woman has to resign because of these false allegations. Apparently, the conversation started where Lady Hussey moved Fulani's hair out of the way, touched her locks, and moved it out of the way to reveal her name tag, which had this name. <laughs> And that's why she decided to ask her, like, okay, so where are you from? Very brave move. Very endearing move on Lady Hussey's part. Because me, girl, I ain't touching that hair. I don't know what going to jump out on me and live in my hair. <laughs> Which is why I have to wear a turban while I'm doing this video. Just, you know, in case it jumps out the screen. Now, this is where 
it gets even worse. Fulani, her charity, our charity supports black women, domestic violence survivors. I can't stay silent about this. I admire Megan for speaking out. According to clear definition, it seems Megan is a survivor of domestic violence from her in-laws. P.S. I'm glad hypocrite peers left ITV. This is a very un mentally unstable woman. Even Megan herself has never said that she faced or was a victim of domestic violence. I mean, this is very bad. And this is where I feel the royal family has enabled. They try so hard to overcorrect and to overdo and try to be so charitable and to, so inclusive and everything that they don't realize that there are some people that don't deserve that. Because even somebody like me, if you were to offer me a job, which you could if you want to, the royal family, I wouldn't, I would quit. If I had to work alongside this kind of woman, I wouldn't, I, my good nature could not even survive with this woman i would have to quit i wouldn't want to be around her because she's problematic you know she's been playing out with that charity money by the way you know that right you know she can't be trusted okay she gives me patrice colors vibes which is patrice colors in case you don't know she's the woman who basically discredited the black lives matter movement in america by stealing all the money that was given and built houses and just lived her best life with people's money Bitch, you look like you came out of another planet. She should have said, what planet are you from? This is not the United Nations Conference of Tribes. You did not have to dress this way. You look, you look like you came there spoiling for a fight. <gasps> I'm going to go and soak my head in some ice water and calm down myself. In two weeks, I guarantee you, this is the same thing that happened with Meghan Markle. In two weeks, people are going to catch themselves and say, okay, you know something? This is all BS. <laughs> this is all BS. And what were you thinking getting all heated about it? Do not have to overcorrect for crazy people. It's not your responsibility. Let them perish on their own. With peace and love. Love you guys so much. Mm.